Hello everybody, I'm Fok and as always I'm here to introduce you to a new development in the historical fencing protections world. This time I'm going to talk about my new line of armor pads. These are soft pads that are intended for padding your jackets or garments with a highly efficient viscoelastic foam padding. So if your jacket is too slightly padded or you suffer too much pain from blows, using these pads mm, will greatly improve your ability to, to manage the force of the impacts. They come in four, in four models. The first one is the joint pad, which goes over your shoulder or at the outside of your elbow to, to protect the joint from, from blows. So if you weren't wearing anything on your shoulder or if your hard protection is too much, you can use the armor pads. The other models include what they call the chakram pads. So these can go on your solar plexus, on your sternum, on your ribs and flank, on your kidneys, on your forearms, on your thighs. These are basically the most modular pads in the setup. Then you can have what I call the ghost pads, which, has, which are extremely thin, one centimeter thin, and very light because they are so much ventilated, and also quite flexible so that you won't even notice you're wearing them. These can go as examples on the upper arm, on the forearm, as protectors for your ribs, or on your back as spine protectors. These are just examples. Many more uses are possible for sure, and it's just up to your fantasy to how to use these pads. The last model is the tournament pad. So this one is specifically intended for, for a thing. This goes into the top level jackets which already have some kind of elbow and shoulder protections like the Gajardoni Challenge because mm, those jackets are extremely, extremely breathable and cold so you don't want to increase the weight or make them less breathable with heavy or bulky protectors and in this case you can use these pads to protect the actual joint position and the forearm or upper arm without having them mm, somewhat give problems with any other protection you're wearing. So imagine wearing a Gajardoni ja Challenge jacket with a gorget like the PBT or the Neyman one protecting this area. The shoulder of the jacket, the pad, the elbow of the jacket, the pad. In this case you're going to be fully protected without very much bulkiness or weight on yourself and you will be really cool in the jacket because this is ventilated and the jacket is actually very breathable. So this is Mattia, my friend, and he's going to demonstrate how the pad works into a regular shirt. This one is a shirt we bought at the local store and then we, we've been had adding the pads to the shirt itself with some velcro. As you can see, they are attached with Velcro. Okay. And he's now going to put the shirt on to show you. There's some wind, but he should be able to. So as you see, the shirt goes on almost like a regular shirt and actually looks like a regular shirt. If you take a look, he is only armored on the right, but you can't notice the difference between right and left. So the padding is quite thin probably, don't you think? And as you see, He's just looking like wearing a normal shirt. So imagine 
how seamless these are into a fencing jacket. But as you see, there's padding. And some actually tough padding. So, the last thing to talk about is the Easy Hack Kit, which is a way to attach the protections to your jackets or anything else. Um, what I want to say is that is, it's not mandatory, so you can attach the pads however you want. But this is the easiest way, in my opinion, so I give a ready-made kit for that. This is the shirt Mattia was wearing before, and as you see, the protectors are just attached with strap. This is heavy duty strap that allows you to attach and unattach the protections for washing or whatever else, even if you want to just remove them. If you want to use a different system, there's no problem. I mean, I do myself use patches. I just use patches inside this shirt with an opening to squeeze the protections in and to make such a patch it, it's quite easy I mean you just take the protection splatter it and draw its outline then you sew on this outline leaving just a free area you cut and you reverse the patch and you have made a patch like this one to sew into your jacket that's no problem there's one other thing you you have to notice. This one isn't still in the shop. This is the armored fabric. You see, it's pretty flexible, and it's the one Mattia had on his flank in the in the shirt. This is going to come later because it's a quite difficult protection to categorize, and it's also a little bit more costly than the armor pads. As you see, this one is sewn on the shirt. So if you don't want to have Velcro inside your jacket, you can just make pouches like this. If you prefer having the ready-made kit, that's Velcro and special fabric glue. So for today it's everything and I hope you, you will like these new protections. And as said before, they are intended not just for HEMA because even HMB or HCA people will really benefit from some more padding on specific locations. So thank you very much.